So um, I listened to the help of some people that I work with. Um, so I got, um, I got Larry involved, obviously my radio life partner, my one true love. He was there, he helped me out. Cheers, love, he's talking rude. Um, also, I got help from Pete Foster as well. You know Pete Foster, formerly Viking FM. Um, now housemate, just won't fucking go away. Uh, also as well, Tom Woods was a great help as well. I ran some stuff by him as well. Um, but then I got a couple of lines off Griffo and things really went flying. Um, I can really like him there. Um, but, oh, before we started, before we started, um, Helen, 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 have you heard the one about the pig? Have you not heard the one about the pig? Oh, awkward. <laughs> okay, so, um, obviously this is the Yorkshire Christmas party, we're having a good time? No. This is Yorkshire Christmas party, we're having a good time? We've got three stations here in the house, make some noise. If you're from 96.9 Viking FM! Oh, oh and, and magic, right? Oh, and magic. Uh, also, make some noise if you're from uh, Hallam FM! Right. And of course, and of course, magic, alright, Trev? Um, but last, but certainly not least, uh, is a station that's true to my heart because it's the one that gave me my first gig. I still work there now to this very day. Make some noise from Leeds if you're with Magic 828! And Radio Air as well, aren't Rich? No, but no, seriously. Um, as you may know, um, the, the programming team at Radio Air has recently gotten 50% less gay. Um, but the great, the great thing is, is that um, uh, upon you and arriving, Stuart did place a warm hand upon his entrance. No, joking. <laughs> Sorry, I'm joking aside though, Radio Air is, and this is the course of celebration, let's make some noise, commercial market leader. Woo! It is the adjusted TSA of just around the Radio Air building. <laughs> Still does need to build on hours though. Still needs to build on hours. But that's a work in progress, and I'm sure you've got that right in hand. You know, right in hand. The, the cutlery. You've heard the one about the cutlery? Have you not? Four <laughs> foot. Um, okay, no, um, but what we need to do is I need to sort of gauge the room because we've all had a few drinks, haven't we? Yeah? All got a bit pissed up on booze, haven't we? So I'll gauge what I'll do is I'll do sort of, I'll do three, I'll do a test. I'll, I'll start with quite a highbrow joke and we'll see how that goes down, okay? And if that doesn't work, we'll just move down from there. Okay, so sometimes I work um, outside of radio, I work with kids who have been kicked out of school, kids with behavioural problems, they're quite like, they've, they've, you'll see them in the news, they've committed crimes, I work with them sometimes. Um, and the other week I was in um, school with a pupil, and we went to the career advisor, went to the career advisor, the people I went to go and see the career advisor in the school, the career advisor, okay, we went to the career advisor. And what they said was, um, if they restart peace talks with the South and agree on unilateral nuclear disarmament, uh, the UN will reduce uh, trade sanctions on them and they will find their own place in the international community. Uh, yeah? Yeah, okay, no, okay, that doesn't work, that's fine. Like, I'll bring it down a notch, I'll bring it down a notch. we we'll bring it down a notch. The X Factor, yeah? Okay, I'm finding a level here, the X Factor, yeah? The X Factor! Thank fuck, okay. So, um, right, the X Factor. So, Misha B was kicked out of the X Factor on Saturday. Who's a fan of Misha B? Oh, mixed, okay. Because um, obviously in her swan song she rapped that the B in her name stood for Believe. Which was nice, isn't it? It stood for Believe. Well, we all know, really, it stands for Bully. It stands for unadulterated, unashamed, vindicating bully. No, that's fine. We'll bring it down another level. That's fine. That didn't also work. Um, fat Spunky Cox. <laughs> yeah, we found another. Okay, we found another. Stick that. 
actually no, sorry, sorry, we'll go back to the X Factor for a second. We'll go back. Um, who knows, have you ever um, had your porn star name before? Who's had a porn star name? You heard about this? Where you get your uh, mother's maiden name and your first pet's name and you put them together and you get your porn star name. Very funny, quite amusing. Well, I, my mate told me the other day about your X Factor name. How to get your X Factor name? I don't know if you heard about this. Um, what you basically do, well, play it now, it's quite fun, it's quite fun. We'll do that. Um, you basically get your first name. Okay, who's playing? You get your first name. Yeah? You get your last name, then you fuck off. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Have you heard about. <laughs> Cheers, man. Okay. Hello, <laughs> hello. Have you heard. Have you not heard. Okay, you, have you heard the one about John Barrowman? You've heard the one about John Barrowman, Helen? No. <laughs> Torchwood? Brilliant. Okay, listen, to be honest, this has been shit. So um, what I'll do is I'll end on the joke that everyone's heard before. It's quite a light-hearted joke. I've sworn quite a lot. I'm really sorry. I'll end on something light-hearted and it goes something like this. You've probably heard it before. It's fine. Um, a man walks into a doctor's and he says, um, Doctor, doctor, I feel like a pair of curtains. And the doctor, the doctor turns to him and says, I'm sorry, sir, it's cancer. It's, a, it's aggressive cancer. Well, I used to work at Radio Air. 